Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes we are back with some more Train Sim 2022. And this time we are on the Chatham Main and Midway line. And uh, you might be thinking, that's a Class 6-6, six, six, but this is not a Class 6-6. Six, six. This is a Class 59, which actually came before the 6-6. Six, six. Uh, the 59 was 85-95. to 95. And it was sort of the precursor to the 6.6. It's sort of the 6.6 took a lot of uh, inspiration from the 59, and uh, we have it today in the DB Shenka livery, and uh, we will be taking these empty uh, ag ag aggregate wagons uh, to a quarry somewhere. So yeah, before we get in and get going, I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't already, please subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my new train sim content. All right, let's uh, jump in and actually get going. Good morning, driver. We are ready for a long haul this morning. You'll be in charge of this freight service taking empty aggregates from uh, per, uh, Pearly Foster uh, Yeoman to Hu Junction, uh, starting from Ton Bridge West Yard. You may depart when ready. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, Let's just get this set up first. Uh, we want cam lights. Oh, we already have them on, I think. Well, we actually don't need them on for this particular journey because it is in sort of daylight. And the brakes are coming off now. So, yeah, we've got go via, go via via so we've actually got quite a long journey to go 14 mile but we are going via most of these places and we've got a couple to some wagons on the other end of here which we will get to at some point But yeah, lots of similarities, to be honest, to the 6.6 six on these ones. Uh, it was sort of the... It was the Class 6.6 six six before the Class 6.6 six six was was a thing, really. Um, these, these 59s. And they were built uh, between... 85 and 95. They actually look a bit different in real life, um, but very very much the same and they were built 15 were built in total uh, for three different operators uh, i'm imagining db Schenker was one of them i'm going via here again yeah i imagine db Schenker was one of them uh, we have been given the road yep yeah, we have got a green here yeah. But yeah, the cab's looking relatively quite nice, actually, compared to the Dovetail 6.6. Um, it's looking a lot cleaner, in my opinion. Alright, where are we? Okay, we can actually step it up a little bit here. You can tell the engine sounds a little bit different to the 6.6. Six. Um, I'm not sure what they sounded like in real life. Um, yeah, I've not really seen a 50, uh, 59 in real life. Only 6.6. Six. We can actually step it up here. We'll be coming back down to a 20 mile an hour limit in a sec. So something we will have to prepare for. Uh, 
and it has got air brakes on it so it does take a while for the brakes to start coming on and to come off as well that's one thing we've got to remember But I believe this is about a 20 minute scenario, so it shouldn't take us too long. But we'll see, we'll see. I saw it stand out, I've seen it for a while actually on my, um, on my list. And it does stand out. Uh, but you look at it and you think that's a class 6-6, six, six, so it's not going to be too bad. But no, I think in the game, actually, they've not modelled it correctly. I think it does look a little bit different in real life to this. But, you know, they've, they've, they've used their initiative and, and used the 6.6 six model, I think. But, you know, I wanted to try it out. I saw it on the list and I thought, you know what, I'll just give it a go. So...
Okay, we're about halfway through now. Um, Strood, Hyam, then we're at Who Junction. And we're doing some dropping off and some recoupling then. Overall, uh, who is five mile away, six mile away? So we sort of got Strood and Hyam as our last sort of true stops. I'm being a bit quiet, uh, mainly because I just want you to enjoy the game. But there's not really much to say. Um, could talk about the route, I suppose. It, it is generally quite a nice route. Um, you know, the scenery is very good. Especially for train sim. No, there's not really much to talk about um, apart from just getting it done that's the problem with these freight scenarios sometimes is when you've got a long journey to do is uh, you are literally just sat at a constant speed there's not really much going on and so um, it's hard to find things to talk about especially when we've got this sort of going via once we get down to who it'll be a bit easier because we'll be able to uh, you know, we've got to come to a stop and uh, drop off and stuff, so that will be a bit more interesting. Uh, we'll have to be on the ball. Uh, 25, so we're probably swapping over to another rail. Give it some break here. Actually, we'll give it a bit more than that. don't really want to overload the brakes here not by giving it too much at once all at once it's a nice calm uh, slow 225 and we'll just off that there we go I'm just rolling into this speed change with this we are rolling through Strood now so not too bad Should be fine on the 15 here. Um, give me a bit more break as we come up to it. See, now there's actually things going on, which is quite interesting. I think we are swapping rail, that's why it's brought us down, but uh, I could be completely wrong. It could just be the speed we're going through Strood. We could be going to the left there. Um, sort of bypass the station. Not sure. Nope. No idea why it's this slow through street then. Uh, we're going via. Well, we've already passed it, so we're going via Hyam next. And we're stopping at who, so we need to remember that. That guy's ears just got blasted. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to speed it up to 45 as we enter this tunnel. I feel like we can take it. Pretty long tunnel, this one. We've got double yellow.
Okay, we're coming into Ohio now, just on the opposite side of these tunnels. And Hugh Junction is only about three, three mile away, which ain't bad. We have been given a green, which is nice. We can really speed this up. Single yellow. Who is that? Double yellow. That's a double yellow. So, oh, it's just turned green. So we're sort of chasing something down here by looks things as we leave. I am. Please note that you might be required to ask for permission from the singer to pass the singer to the yard for shunting around. Okay. Our Q junction's coming up. So let's uh, let's start um, breaking. Uh, yep. We are we are stopping at this uh, at this one down here. Let's actually uh, get on board and actually uh, see what we're doing. <laughs> I believe this is where we are stopping and then we are asking for permission to drop off these wagons. We'll give it some more. So we can here. Oh, that was a red. Ah, oh, proved. Very good. I was getting a bit worried then. Not going to lie to you. We're at the 50 mile now we need though for this. Got a little worried about that. I thought we were going <laughs> to... I thought we were going to spad. But uh, it's alright. We've been given permission. To enter the yards totally came out of my mind that it might be a red before the uh, junction so uh, it's lucky that I sort of caught that let's actually get this up so we know where we're going but yeah sorry if it's been a little bit boring uh, for you on this one because uh, I, ha I haven't been speaking for the majority of it um, sometimes I just don't know what to say and I stay quiet I just enjoy the game for what it is but um, I will try and sort of skip some of that long section where I wasn't speaking uh, it's just so we can get into the action really Should be good enough here for us. Excellent. We will just save it quickly here. We're just waiting by the looks things for a bit. Ah, there you go. It's uh, so we're dropping off the wagons here. So let's uh, uncouple those, and then we're going via um, so we've got to go via 
that line here next to us, so we've got to go out onto the main line and come back. Okay, and then we are coupling. Okay, so we're coupling to the other end of these by the looks things. Okay, now nah, that's fine. As long as I know what we're doing. So we'll give it a little bit of power here so we don't roll back into those and couple to them. We might need to give the guard some notice about our manoeuvre coming up. Let's actually go down there. Not really too sure why the signalman. We'll give it a go anyway. We'll give this a go. Apparently that was the correct thing to do, and we're just stopping here. So, yeah, that was the end of the scenario. Apparently, Ooh. so that was the class fifty nine on the Chatham, Main, and Medway. Bit weird at the end there. I didn't really know what was going on, but we got there in the end. So yeah, if you enjoyed the scenario and the video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.